If you do have any celebrations this holiday, however small they may be, don't forget the wine. Better yet, make it a Texas Hill Country wine. William Chris Vineyards is offering at home and in person experiences. Tierra Nubam is live and high with the details. Good morning, Tierra. I was uh, listening to you doing that sound check during the commercial breaks. I've learned quite a bit myself in just those few minutes. Amanda, I am learning so much out here and people can actually come out here, have their own experiences where they learn about all of this. I have so many questions and that's all I've been doing all morning in between these breaks is asking a million questions. And Kelsey, you guys are the experts out here. People can learn more by coming out or they can even do it from the comfort of their home. So can you tell me a little bit more about the virtual tastings that y'all are offering for people who want to stay at home? Absolutely. They're super safe and you can do these from all across the country. So it's connecting people not just in Texas, but all across the U.S. You get wine sent to you, um, four full bottles of wine. We can help you build a food pairing with that. And then you get to log on live with the Tasting Room Ambassador, who is WSET certified. And we have over 20 WSET certified professionals to help you learn more about the wines that you're tasting, William Chris, but also holiday food and wine pairing. Okay, so what a perfect time. If you're not gonna be able to see your relatives this holiday season, hop onto a virtual wine tasting with them and learn a little bit more so um, you guys are pairing holiday kind of flavors here. So what do we have? So this is a virtual tasting that was done with uh, Chris and Catherine. They do these live and you can see them on William Chris's Facebook. Okay. So this pack uh, was uh, featured last Saturday on December 12th, but the pack is still available online. So you can go onto our website at williamchriswines.com, pick up this pack and then go watch that tasting on the Facebook or you can customize your experience and have a private event with a tasting room ambassador. And then we build that together with you so you can pick these wines or whatever fits your palate best. A great gift idea as well. I love uh, gifting experiences for people. So if people wanna come out here, mm -hmm. what do they need to know beforehand? What different safety protocols do you guys have in place? Yeah, for your safety, we are reservation only right now, which means you can go onto our website, williamchriswines.com and book a reservation. Uh, that way you have a set table that is safely distanced from everybody else. And then you'll be led through your tasting with a tasting room ambassador that's, of course, wearing a mask for your protection. Um, and that way we're able to spread across the property. We have two tasting rooms where we're offering library experiences with aged wines, educational wine experiences, and then food and wine pairings that are uh, created by our chef Josh Tai on site. So we have lots for you to do here and a big property to do it on. Absolutely, nice and spread out. So can you kind of walk me through what people are going to learn during this virtual tasting or when they, they're here doing experiences? Yeah, absolutely. And I mentioned it's customizable, so it's really what you're interested in learning. But one thing I always like to do is start with how to taste a glass of wine. So for instance, this 2016 Malbec from High Estate actually comes from the vines right behind you. Cool. So I would be able to show that on our virtual tastings. And we talk about how to properly taste this wine. So first, making sure you appreciate the color. These glasses are meant so that you can see how vibrant the color is, whether the glass is hazy, whether it's changing color, how aged it might be. Then you hold the glass here and you okay. bring it slowly up to your nose to see how aromatic the wine is. And then you give it a swirl, stick your nose in, appreciate the nose. And then of course, the last step is tasting it. So you take one sip, to get the first experience of the wine, but then the second sip is where you truly get to capture the full flavor. What I like to do is I like to coat my entire mouth with the wine because the whole mouth is what you really need to activate in order to get the full picture of the wine. Kelsey, this is so fascinating. I just want to continue learning more. Okay, where can people get more information? Because we're running out of time here this morning. and. and maybe purchase some of those, uh, set a reservation uh, if they want to come out here. Yeah, everything is on our website. You can book your reservations. You can also shoot us an email if you have questions or want to set up a private virtual experience or have any questions about how to really customize this type of experience to your taste. That's also where you would go to think about gifting a virtual experience, okay. which you can do. 
all, all right all on our website thank you so much Kelsey it's been fun learning about all of this and a few other tidbits that I learned from Kelsey earlier I was asking hey if I'm out holiday shopping and I want to get someone a bottle of wine but I have no idea what they like rosé is not off limits for the winter time we usually think of that as a summer wine but that can be given year-round it's good to serve with pretty much anything is what I've learned this morning and then also a red blend you can't go wrong with that so learning a lot out here and it's been a lot of fun but Amanda I'll send it back to you in the studio yeah it looks like you've had a great day uh, gorgeous out there thank you Tierra